because it said that she did not have a child with him and then I saw several things that said that she did have a child with him and one of my favorite places to um, digest and um, learn about a lot of these cases actually comes from another YouTuber who I love. Uh, Brief Case is their name. I'm going to link their channel down below. I don't solely rely on their videos for all of my research, but I like to use their videos in conjunction because they are so researched and I just, I love their videos and I appreciate their work. So it's my little, my little shout out. So Martha and Wesley in the story that I am going to tell, they have a child now their child is about three years old around this age when again there's speculation as to who left who or what left what but um either way there was something wrong with the marriage and somebody left somebody which left martha to have to be a single mother and take care of her child and she was already dealing with some financial stresses but now she had to face this possibility of having to give up her child due to these financial constraints which she does and she leaves again according to some research she leaves her child with um a local family or a family that she knows and they also experienced 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 their own horrific loss with their child so her child is in good hands and it's a bit of like an open adoption situation where martha can absolutely 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 come and retrieve her son or she may you know come visit him whatever the case may be this is where in 1892 or 93 martha meets a, another man who is looking for a house servant and she decides to go and work for him now his name is william place he is a single father and he was a very well-to-do kind of guy he had a good job he had um you know, very interesting hobbies, very expensive hobbies. He was a very charming, interesting individual. Now, when Martha joined the household as a servant, very quickly, William began to feel these feelings for Martha. Now, you know, a lot of people were telling him that he should not feel these feelings because, you know, Martha was his servant. You know, that's unprofessional, but also there was just something not right about Martha. There's something, 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 something not right about Martha. Something was really, 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 really off. Now, even though everybody had their, you know, very big opinions about Martha, uh, William went ahead and in 1893 they married and his daughter, who was a young teenager, now had a new mother or stepmother, if you will, and this was not a welcomed proposition, if you will. His daughter, Ida, absolutely did not get along with Martha, and Martha did not get along with Ida. In fact, very early and very quickly, Martha became incredibly, 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 incredibly jealous of the relationship between Ida and William. Now, as I said earlier, William had these um, very like expensive hobbies. He loved photography, so he would print his own um, pictures. He had his own like dark room area, and his daughter shared interest in these things 
things with him so often. They went out on excursions to take photos in the city and uh, they just, they loved spending time with each other. They had a really great father-daughter relationship. They had the same interests. They loved each other and Martha just did not like it, did not appreciate it. Apparently, there may have been this riff because Martha was trying to let William allow her son to come and live with them, but William said no, supposedly. This is one thing that may have also created a lot of animosity, 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 animosity in the relationship. Now, I am 17 years old and there comes a day where William is frustrated and fed up and he confronts Martha about the things that he he is hearing from Ida. Now Martha is of course very defensive, um, very upset at William for interrogating her. He leaves for work, I'm assuming tells her they're going to have the conversation later, or maybe they just go their separate ways. Martha immediately goes upstairs to ask Ida what was that? Why would you say those things about me to your father? Why are you so mean? Why are you so disrespectful? Martha was already telling William how just completely disrespected she felt by Ida, but of course William was not taking this seriously enough for Martha at least. So Martha and Ida had ensued in a verbal disagreement and because Martha was now the, you know, mother of the house, there needed to be a new housemaid or house servant. So the new servant was downstairs kind of taking this whole situation in and sure enough, it progressed. Martha slammed the door and when she returned back to the room, she had dumped acid on Ida, acid that came from William's photography dark room or studio, if you will. Then Ida, again, I saw reports that she just smothered her, but then I saw things that um, she was smothered and she had um, sliced her or hit her with an axe. So I saw either, either way, Ida was no longer a disrespectful teen to Martha, and Martha had successfully kept her quiet, if you will, and obedient. Now, the servant had responded to this, asking what was going on. Martha told her to keep quiet, and later, when William returned from home, he barely made it through the door and out of the corner of his eye, he saw Martha coming towards him with an axe, to which she did strike him with it. I'm just going to reach down and grab my notes really, 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 really quickly to make sure that I am getting all my facts straight. <laughs> are the wrong ones. Hold on. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, yes, going back to what I was saying, Martha had struck William with this axe and William had landed on the floor to which Martha had run back upstairs into Ida's room for whatever reason. Now William had made his way through his door, down his steps, and onto the streets of 